Welcome to the Great Exodus series, God's plan of rescue for his children. Let my people go. The path to Mount Zion. My name is Michael. I am the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Past Movement Foundation. And the author of the Book of Love, the standard literature of Triple Grace. This book, this, this is a book that you can order from Amazon. The link is in the description box below. Today our topic is Set Apart. You are set apart by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Set apart to do his harvest work. Set apart to bring in the people to Mount Zion. Set apart to establish societies of the rose in your neighborhood. Set apart from the churches. Set apart from the world and from Babylon. So that you can let your light shine forward into the nations. That you can bring the love of the Father for all the people who need it. For everybody who is in need. The Lazarus at our gates. The poor, the needy. The, the children and the nameless and faceless in our society. You are set apart to come together every day in a community of friends, of followers of the past, of daily sacrifices. A daily sacrifice of love is at our heart. Every day we go out and do a righteous deed of the saint. We help people, we lift them up. We assist them in their problems and we invite them to our teaching and training for the societies of the rose so that they can then be part of these assemblies of love and righteousness or can establish their own in their neighborhood. We, every day, we are trying to get as many people to righteousness as possible. And you can do that too and you can be set apart too. Set apart for your purpose and destiny in this world, to win souls. Not to sit in a church, but to come forth and do active work. Go into the nations, the Lord said to his disciples, and bring forth my followers. And this is what you should do too. If you cannot move into the nation, then you can do it in your neighborhood. But you can gather the people together. And you can make assemblies of love and righteousness. You can take love meals together with your people in your society of the rose. You can meet together. You can empower them. And you can send them out to let their light shine into the neighborhood every day. Not only sitting once a week in a church. Now you can go forth. And now you can show your light for all to see. Yes, everybody will see you. Everybody will ask, what are these people? who are going out every day and doing something good. From where are they? They are not the normal church people, they are not the normal Christians. And you can say, no, we are set aside by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and by our Father Yahweh to do the harvest work. So come and join us. Come to our meetings on Thursdays for training and teaching and understanding. And then join us in our quest of winning souls, not of working for money, but in winning souls. Everybody can establish a society of souls in his neighborhood. There is no requirement you can do that. You only have to pray over it, ask the Lord for guidance, and ask the Holy Spirit to help you. And then you will establish a society of souls, and you will gather the people together in love, unity, and support and you will shine forth and be set apart and the glory of the Father will come over you and you will be blessed until you will be raptured at the sixth seal at the base of Mount Zion into paradise and you will receive your spiritual mansion as said by our Lord and Savior in John 14.2 There we will enter eternal life with Jesus together and with the Father together because we read at the sixth seal that the people who are not the followers of the past will be afraid because they will see our Lord Jesus Christ and the one who is sitting on the throne coming down and they will try to hide in the mountains but they cannot hide because the wrath of the Lamb is there and this is the beginning of Jacob's trouble and this is the beginning of the trumpet period but we 
as a remnant church, will go through the seal period. And we have to gather as many people together as a multitude closed and white. Be part of it. Sign up as a member of triple-grace.com. Sign up. It's free. Use all the resources there. If you have questions, send them to me at triplegrace55 at gmail.com. Become a follower of the past. Become a daily sacrificer. Become a rosarian. And walk with us. To the light. Like in this image that you see. The light at the end. This is our end destination where we will go. Mount Zion. But on the way we have to gather in all the people to come with us. The pearls of the Father. That we have to snatch from the dragon. It's now our time to step forward and to be set apart. Set apart for this destiny and this purpose. Be set apart. Be not part anymore of the world and of Babylon or of the churches. Be set apart from it. Walk. Let your light shine. Show the love of the Father into your neighborhood. Establish assemblies of love and righteousness, societies of the rose, in your houses, in your meeting places. Gather the people together every day. Do love meals. Support one another. Share resources. Assist. Bring forth the needy. Invite them to the meetings. Grow and grow and grow. So that we are winning souls over souls over souls. And this is our destiny and purpose. And you are called for that. And you are set apart for that. Don't you feel that calling in your heart? Don't you feel that setting apart in your soul? Are you not part of the warriors of the Lord? Are you not part of his harvest workers? Yes, you are. So do the step and set yourself apart. Become a mighty warrior. Become a shoot of glory for the, for the Lord. Jesus is calling you out. As he was a shoot out of the stem of Jesse, now you are shoot out of the stem of Jesus. So bring forth your power and your glory into the nations and into your neighborhood. And this every day, come out of your complacency and your waiting period. What are you waiting for? The glory of the Lord is already here. Show it to the world. Show the love of the Father to your neighborhood. Let everybody see what a true Christian is made of. And if you are talking about two Christians, I have to come to our challenge of the pure heart. What a shame. Over this time period, there was only one Christian who took that challenge. One out of millions. We are so far away from the way of, of the Lord. He told us to take the cross and walk his path and help the needle and assist the poor. You cannot even assist poor children or have mercy on the plight of poor children. Then what kind of Christian are you? Don't come with excuses, oh, I have nothing what I can help with. Everybody can help with something little. But you should be set apart. You should be better than the normal church people. You should be better than the people who say, I'm Christian, but only with mouse. But they are not an active Christian. You should be better than this. Far, far, far better. You still have a chance to take the challenge of a pure heart until the 2nd of September. So please take it. A link is in the first pinned comment. Do not have any excuse. Take that challenge and see where you are standing. How far you are away from a true believers and true follower of Christ in the first century. This is our goal. This is our aim. There we want to go. We want to have the same zeal, the same spirit and the same truth as they walked in. They walked there. They were in the world, but they were completely outside of the world. They were set apart. Even people recognized them by the name of the follower of the way. Because they said, these people are separate. They are not the normal ones. And you should also not be a normal Christian. You should be a Christian with zeal, with mercy and kindness in your heart, with a heart for the poor children. Everybody can do something. There is no excuse. But if I see that only one Christian, out of millions, out of so many who have seen the messages, has come forth, then I know that we are 
very close to the falling away. People claim it to be Christian, but only by mouth, not by action. Their heart is like a stone. But we want to be set apart, and you also can be set apart, so take that challenge. Show me otherwise. Show me that there are true Christians in this world. Show me that you have the zeal and the power and the glory that is given to you as a new shoot from Jesus. If you have the kindness, then show it for us. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you that you have listened to this topic to be set apart. Now it's your time to do that. Set yourself apart. Become part of triple-grace.com. It's free. And become part of the Society of the Rose. Or establish your own. And now step forward into your glory. And let your light shine into your neighborhood. Thank you. Thank you that have listened to this topic today. And I hope I will see you again tomorrow. And do not forget. Set yourself apart. And take the challenge of a pure heart. Take it right now. Forget about anything else, just take it right now. In Jesus' name I pray. I love you all so dearly. Have a great day. My name is Michael. I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And I hope my message has reached your heart. And I will see all of you taking the challenge. I will see you again tomorrow. Maranatha.